Okay, a couple weeks ago, Tesla came out with their updated firmware, which has a lot more visualizations, including stop signs, traffic lights, uh, cones, trash cans, a lot of things showing up now. A lot of you noticed in that video, when I was holding the stop sign and we started driving, it, it showed up just fine when I was holding it. However, when we put the stop sign down, it still showed it. So that shows that the car is using not only GPS, but also it's using its cameras to actually detect stop signs. So it can detect them anywhere they're located, not just where they've been pre-programmed onto a map. So today we're gonna do a couple tests. First, we're gonna test going through a stop sign on autopilot to see if the car will automatically stop. Also, we're gonna do another one of those tests where we're gonna have the stop sign there, then we're gonna remove it and see if it still shows up on the display. Let's test it out. No hands, reads it. Nothing. Totally just blew right through it. So now we're gonna test with the stop sign on the left side. No hands. So it does recognize it. but we blew right through it. So David thinks it might need to be at an intersection. So we're gonna try that as low as it'll let us so I have time to stop. Still recognizes it. Still lets us run it. Oh. Interesting. Okay, let's repeat. So we're gonna see if we can repeat that result. it definitely freaked out. Interesting. Okay, so now we're gonna try it with the stop sign on the left side. recognizing it. Okay, so now we're gonna do a control without any stop signs up there and see uh, if it still freaks out. I think it's because the road ends. Yeah. So it wasn't the stop sign thing. No, wasn't stop sign there. Okay, so here we can see David has the stop sign right there. It is showing up right here. We can go forward and it will kind of follow us here. Then we can go backwards and you can see it's following where the stop sign is. Only he's not holding up a stop sign and it showed it. So here you can see David is now gone and we still have a stop sign. It looks to be that Tesla is learning there was a stop sign there. Now where could it have gone? So look right now we're past it and then it disappears but we can now reverse and there it is again. Yeah. Phantom stop sign because that's where David was holding it but now David is no longer there holding it. So that's actually kind of cool because Tesla is actually learning where stop signs 
you s- were potentially there. Yeah. But once you've gone it and it sees it's not there anymore, yeah, it removes it. But at least it has it persists for at least one visualization. Okay, so some interesting findings on that test. Yeah, it didn't quite work out exactly as we were wanting it to. No. We, we had read in the release notes that they added like stop sign detection and some people have reported that when they would run a stop sign that it would show a warning and request them to take over immediately. Yeah. But we didn't see that in our testing. No, so we tested it on just the left and right side of a street. It definitely noticed the stop sign, displayed it on the screen, didn't say anything. So then we went to a intersection, intersection yeah. and it recognized it on both sides again and actually told us to take over, take control of the wheel. Then we tested it without a stop sign being there and it did the same thing. So I think that was kind of like a false positive. Yeah. It was freaking out more of the intersection because exactly. it's not sure how to proceed. Exactly, because it was a T-intersection exactly. and yep. there was no road for us to continue driving on. Yeah. So that didn't quite work as expected, but it is still recognizing the signs, which is great. Yep. Uh, it's probably only a matter of time until it actually tells us that, but you shouldn't be running stop signs to begin with. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll preface by saying that, but I imagine the car will eventually stop for those stop signs. So Okay, so we're going to try this and see we're running the stop sign. Okay, it actually worked though. Okay, it did actually work. Definitely thinking this is more of an intersection issue rather than a stop sign recognition issue. Now, the other thing we did test though, which I found most interesting, was the, not phantom stop sign, but it actually is remembering where a stop sign once was. Yeah, and we first saw this a couple weeks ago when we were yeah. testing it in the driveway, and I was holding the sign, and then I put it down, and when Eric was driving in the driveway again, it we still saw it. showed that. And we wanted to test that again, and it works exactly the same way. Exactly, so you can actually see the stop sign, get out, lock the car, get back in, start going again, and the stop sign will still be there. Now, after driving around for a few minutes, the car realizes, oh, stop sign is not supposed to be there, so then it removes it. But the fact that it was there is, shows that it's somehow internalizing mm-hmm. that stop sign. It remembers the location, and it just to be safe, it's saying, I think there's a stop sign here. Yep. There was one here last Previously, time I was here. Yeah. And then once it checks it again, it's like, okay, there's no stop sign. It's okay. Yeah, so that shows Tesla is learning. It's all and, that. And even your own car is learning. Yeah. It, it's, or at least remembering, and it's interpreting that. It, yeah. It's like, it has not sent this potential stop sign to Tesla and gotten it back from their computers. But on its own, it's recognizing the stop sign. There's one here, and then it recognizes that it's no longer there yeah. after you drive by that place again. Yeah, which is really cool because that's how fleet learning will eventually go. One car will recognize something, act on it, and then if it's correct, we'll go to the rest of the fleet. Yeah. So definitely a step in the right direction. I don't know, comment down below with your experience. How have you been testing or what have you seen with these new stop sign uh, visualizations? Is this something that you've accidentally or purposefully, hopefully carefully, run a stop sign and it freaked out at you or what have you noticed? So one of the new features in the latest 2019.40.50.x release is the ability to save dash cam clips while honking. And we're just going to put that to the test really quick. Okay, so we are right here. Didn't, didn't notice anything, but let's try closing that and see it. Does it do? Oh, look oh. at that. It worked. It worked. And it saved it. Test two. So it takes just a second. Yeah. And then it records it. How cool is that? But that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We wanted to just do some more testing. A lot of the comments wanted to see a little bit more of this. And we found it very interesting that Tesla is actually learning its environment. So definitely cool to see. As always, though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, much like this one, definitely check out their website and using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off your first order. Two must-have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap just to help protect that gloss black material from scratching or getting any kind of fingerprints on it and a matte screen protector to help reduce any glare from the sun as well as fingerprints because, as we all know, those screens can get quite a lot of them. As always, though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.